Hello and welcome to Indus News live from Islamabad. I'm Naila Shudra and these are the headlines. President-elect Joe Biden says he wants to restore the soul of the United States, vowing to unify the country. In his victory address in Delaware, Biden says his first task is to get the coronavirus pandemic under control. The 77-year-old Democrat declared victory after he overtook Donald Trump in Pennsylvania, securing 279 electoral votes. Kamala Harris has made history by being elected as the first female, first black and first Asian American vice president-elect. Trump refuses to concede defeat, saying the election is far from over and it will be decided by the courts. Indian troops have martyred another civilian in occupied Jammu and Kashmir. The youth was targeted during a cordon and search operation in the Kupwara district. The occupied valley has been under New Delhi's crushing curfew and communication blackout since the 5th of August 2019. Turkey says Armenia must withdraw from Azri lands as it is occupying in the Nagorno-Karabakh region. In a phone call, Turkish President Tayyip Erdogan urged his Russian counterpart, Vladimir Putin, to bring Armenia to the negotiation table. Putin said Azri and Armenian leaders want a peaceful resolution to the conflict. Over 1,200 people have been killed in nearly six weeks of fighting in and around the Nagorno-Karabakh. Voters in Myanmar are casting their ballots in the country's second general election since the military ceded absolute power in 2011. Over 37 million people are eligible to vote in the polls set to elect the upper and lower houses of the parliament. Over 224 seats in the house, 168 are directly elected, while 56 are military appointees. France has registered record over 80,000 daily COVID-19 cases with tally crossing 1.7 million. In Pakistan, 25 people have died from the virus overnight, taking the toll to 6,968. Pakistan's caseload tops 343,000 with over 1,400 new infections since yesterday. Globally, the virus has claimed nearly 1.25 million lives and infected 49.7 million people. For the latest news updates, you can follow us on our social media at Indus.News.